Today I'd like to share with you several ways that I acquire natural resources around my home for my gardens. This is just for a couple of my gardens, not my container garden. So here we go. This is a little wood chip pile with mushrooms growing on it. And this wood chip pile has been breaking down for about two years. It is just perfect for my garden. I especially like to see mushrooms growing in it. So it is very crumbly and just perfect. So I scooped up a couple of wheelbarrows of that and put it in my garden. The other thing I like to use is my composter. This is a compost tumbler and it breaks down all of my food scraps beautifully. I also add other things to it like brown leaves and sometimes grass clippings. So it works wonderfully. I've been using this ever since I think about 2009. So it's several years old and I've had wonderful results with it. It has a little aerator through the middle so it allows a lot of oxygen through the composter so it breaks down very quickly and it doesn't break down everything as you can see here so I have to kind of sort through it a little bit but it's just beautiful when it's done. And another thing I use is our wood burning stove. We have some wonderful ashes and I use this for pot ash. Of course, this is for potassium for my garden. I do have to be careful when I use this because it can quickly raise the pH of your garden. So I especially like to use this um, in combination with compost in my asparagus beds. But I do have to be careful, like I said, you want to make sure that your wood ashes are nice and dry and they haven't been rained on when you add them to your garden. This past year, my neighbor offered us a couple of wheelbarrows of horse manure that has been breaking down for two years. And horse manure is wonderful for the garden. So my teenage son quickly grabbed a shovel and we headed on over there to pick up some of this wonderful horse manure that has been composting for two years. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please give me a big thumbs up if you liked it. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Don't forget to click that wheel off to the right and you'll receive all the notifications for my channel. And then feel free to head on over to my channel where you can follow me over there on Google+. I'm only on Google+, and YouTube. I'm not on all the other social media platforms at this point. So I'm not on Facebook or Pinterest or Twitter or anything like that. So if you want to follow me over there, feel free to do so. I like to share other gardening tips over there. Thank you so much for watching, and y'all have a beautiful day.